Let me see some. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn. Ew! Okay. What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Frog coming at you with another reaction video. We got stupidly expensive things football players on now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit there and hold to. I'm not gonna sit there and cap to you. If I was a football player, athlete, it don't matter. Basketball player, it don't matter. If I had a whole bunch of money like these boys do, bro, I'm splurging out. I'm talking about all types of cars, all types of chains and stuff. Like I told y'all before, this is fake. This one is real, but the big one, the big boy, this whole fake. These earrings, these fake. This is not real gold. I'm getting me some real gold ass earrings, diamonds too. I'm getting me a real ass chain, bust down Cuban link. This is real though. I ain't gonna lie to you. This is real. But hey, I would be swagged out and I'm gonna be on all the hoes, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what goes down. When you're bringing up Going millions stupid. of dollars and ridiculous purchases, <laughs> making it rain. Antoine Griezmann. I mean, Antoine come the on. big spender. In 2019, hey. this dude literally signed hey. a 145 million dollar deal. Yeah, you gotta splurge out. Average soccer player and cop a Ferrari. Nah, nah. This man had to be mm -mm. exclusive, so he went mm -mm. out and spent a half a million dollars on this. Yo. Oh! Look at that! Look at the colors! Goddamn rainbow! Anton caught one of the iciest and rarest watches Bro. in the entire world. A Rolex Rainbow Daytona. Ugh. This came with a 36 baguette cut rainbow sapphire bezel. And 56 Ew. brilliant cut diamonds. But hey, 400k for a watch? At least it's something Antoine could show off. Mario Balotelli, though, he spent a million dollars committing crimes he knew he'd get caught for. Yeah. yeah, he's See, a menace. It all started when Mario signed with he's a menace. on a $31 million deal. And for a player as wild as him, that was just too much money in his bank account. Yeah. So he can't, had to cash you know what I'm out. Saying? Look and at him that, Mario splurged on a $180,000 Maserati. That whole a $250,000 Bentley Continental GT. That, 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 that right. was a reason he got it cameled out. Just, just wait on it. But the cars themselves weren't the stupidly expensive problem. That's what he did with them. See, then he visit break into Mario a jail. Was a normal law-abiding citizen, following the speed limits and parking in designated spots. But eventually, his millions of dollars turned him into a monster. See, Mario came to this odd hey boy, realization that he was a celebrity soccer player. Nobody could tell him what to do, not even the police. So when Mario would pull up in his Bentley or Maserati to restaurants or your mom's house, instead of being respectful, he'd just drive them park where... Hey, what, 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 what's up with this narrator, man, talking about my mama like that? Oh, oh, hey man, watch your tone, bro. Wherever the hell he felt like it. All over the lines, on the curb. I hate people like door. that, bro. He would drive right into the building if he could. And hey, I hate six, people six, like three, that. 220. Are you telling me he can't do that? Hell yeah, yeah why not? I'll yeah, drop a lot I'll drop Mario. Doing this? He was tired of walking to his car. I feel your pain, man. That 20 foot walk in the parking lot, it's brutal. Some people be See, so damn self centered, bro. I don't care who he was or what he was worth. All they saw was a maniac breaking the law. So every single time he parked like this, they'd give him a, a ticket. ticket. And at one point, Mario was averaging three parking tickets per day. That's you know crazy, bro. Than that? His fines racked up a half a million that, dollars. That's so and dumb. Mario didn't learn any lessons from this. So he kept doing it. And it led to his cars being impounded <laughs> 27 bro. times. This man is parking like GTA. You know, on GTA, you get to the clothing store, but get parking. We just go park in front of the door. That is That's so gotta dumb, be a bro. Record. Holy shit. But okay, okay. Eventually, he was tired of having to pick up his car after every meal, so enough was enough. One day, Mario decided the car was the problem, so he gave it away to his teammate. My friends, can you pick me up from my house and live a block away? They're just giving his friends his cars. That is now, crazy, spending a million dollars just to break the got the avatar that's haircut. One thing. But Neymar, he got it because he was bullied into it. See, for Neymar, it wasn't always Ferraris and rainbows. And bullied just, into spending if money. If afford a rainbow, it's him. But for real, it was his tragic childhood that cost him oh, eighty thousand dollars. Damn, my bad. Purchase. I'm sorry. I'm See, sorry. when Neymar was a kid, he grew up in the worst conditions. He grew up in them slums. Like, okay, I'm talking his family it. was so poor. 
They lived in a house with no food, no electricity. Yes, I ain't know uh, Neymar came from poverty, garbage. bro. And if that wasn't hard enough, when Neymar played soccer in the streets, every single day, neighborhood kids bullied him. They'd make fun of Neymar's hand-me-down clothes and teeth that his family just couldn't afford to be better. Oh, bro, that's sad. Neymar didn't let it bring him down. It only fueled him to make a way out for him and his family. I'm on my mom, I so like that. he sacrificed everything and dedicated his entire life to become one of the greatest soccer players his country's ever seen. Bro. In 2009, Neymar did it. He proved to every one of those kids that with a smile. I like ain't this, know he came from poverty, bro. Real talk. I like that. Yeah, now that boy swag. He one of the most swaggiest, lusted over athletes in the world, bro. The ghetto of Sao Paulo. Cross the name out of him. Yeah. Those bullies' faces. Right after he signed his first big contract, he caught a $2,500 per tooth, $80,000 smile. That yeah. The picture they see of him. Fix them teeth up. Look at Neymar, man. So <laughs> inspirational. Now, what's crazy is Neymar didn't only spend stupid money because of his haters. In 2019, he spent over $14 million because of Batman. Yeah, just. just Was barely. it a car? See, Neymar isn't like us normal people. He can't just buy a car or something. Yeah, it was a car. He had to. Day. Nah, man, come on. It's Neymar. He bought a Batmobile. And that's why he splurged over 14 mil on this. A helicopter? Damn, man. He brought a helicopter? Neymar ain't playing. We could just show up to training camp in a Rari or a Ray. They playing in real play life GTA, up. bro. And listen to this. Is Mercedes Benz helicopter. Mercedes Benz helicopter. And would it really be Neymar's without his logo on the tail? And yeah, I know what you're thinking. What the hell does any of this have to do with Batman? Well, dude literally had the entire inside customized to match his favorite superhero. Man, this dude's got a weird obsession with the way he blows his money. But Bro. Hey, at least he doesn't have a spending addiction that's deadly. Playing GTA in real life. This is what these boys is doing, yeah. bro. See, back in 2019, Jerome Boateng decided that his Bentleys and Mercedes just weren't drawing enough attention. So he needed to blow his money another way. And well, most people who finally get millions of dollars, they'd invest or at least cop a mansion. Yeah, but what Jerome, he finna do, bro? He's built different. What he finna he do? something that was gonna freeze him to death. And he knew just the guy for the job. He pulled his phone out. Oh, he, oh, he trailer, bought him some ice. Well, let me see some. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Damn. Ew. Like okay. Went out and cop some of the okay. Okay. coldest jewelry okay. I've ever seen. A custom hundred thousand oh. dollar automotive spaghetti with a diamond vest, <laughs> thirty icy, carat bro. stones, three Cuban link chains. Yeah, I, I want me a Cuban link. I want me a Cuban link. Last but not least, Gabriel threw our boy a birthday present. Just because he dropped a like and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. I'm trying to get Shameless you plug. Like <laughs> Shameless plug. It. I like Anyways, it. I respect it. Gabriel gave our boy a massive $200,000 white gold link chain covered in 110 karat diamonds. Shit. And I didn't even get a card for my B-Day. Hey, we got on the same chain. He said mine's just fake. What? Now listen, and I didn't even get Look, a we got on the same chain. <laughs> swag for swag, baby. It's hard for my B-Day. Dude's under getting houses to wear around his neck. What? Now listen, man. Half a million dollar shopping sprees, that's cool and all. But imagine spending thousands every time you're at your barber. <sighs> I know you Holy lying. David Beckham, man. I know you See, lying. as legendary as he was on the field, the dude became more known for his looks than he did for his soccer record. Yeah, that's some Ridiculous. handsome fellows. But that did mean endorsements were being thrown at him from every direction. And one of those was Brill Cream. At the time, they wanted to promote their hair cream as a product for sleek, sporty, and smart personas. And they felt Beckham was the perfect man for the job. But under one condition. They needed him to get a very specific haircut. So specific. And it cost a thousand? It cost him $6,000. Six they trying to get their money back. They trying to, you know, they sponsor him, but they trying to get their money back in and return. They honest, get their slick. It doesn't look like anything my barber can't do for 30 bucks. So what do I know, man? I'm just a white boy with a fade. Now, Beckham thought long and hard about this. I mean, after all, it was more than just hair to him. It was who he was. He would look like Thor but a little bit. His wife saw the deal that Brill Cream was offering and forced him to do it. 
But see, it's all good. It paid off. Literally. Because Beckham ended up signing with the company on a four-year, $6 million deal. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they make, one they make so $6, for it. a $6,000 investment was worth it. Yeah. But see, six k to a player like Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, that ain't nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> that ain't nothing. some of the craziest like, yeah. of any athlete ever. And in 2018, he put his money where his mouth was. Literally. See, for Ronaldo and his girl, well, he got a grill. it was date night. So they decided to hit up Scott's, one of the most flashy restaurants in all of London. And if you know anything about Ronaldo, it's that he's a billionaire pro athlete. He's trying to spend big. But when he was scanning the menu, as pricey as everything was, nothing for him was expensive enough. Luckily though, the waitress was a big Ronaldo fan. So when she came around to take his order and saw that he was pissed, she knew exactly what to do. Bro, so so athletes just be getting mad that stuff don't be costing enough? What she type of stuff? She him a secret menu. Now, he took a few minutes to check it out, but he started seeing things that cost $10,000. So he knew he was in the right place. And Ronaldo went with a special wine that only he could afford. Rich I'm people, bro. It's so exclusive. I can't even pronounce this. Rich listen, people, bro. It cost him $25,000. And man, I would have been good with a $30 Grey Goose. This man already doing that? I need a party with this man. Now, as expensive as this wine was, they definitely didn't make it last. Because within minutes, it was already gone. Hey, they out there drinking. I <laughs> drink it up. This man makes $100,000 per day. So, of course, he copped another round. But this time, he wanted to conserve a little bit of money. You know, yeah, 25 k that's a little much. So, he cheaped out. And this time, he went with a bottle of 1982 Bordeaux that cost him $13,000. Rich yeah, people, bro. really spent $38,000 on, on two wine, bottles. bro. Two. Now, okay, okay. Rich people. $38,000 on wine. Our boy's a billionaire. He can afford to do things that don't make sense. But one of his purchases became one of his career's biggest controversies. See, Ronaldo's known to flex his lifestyle to his 300 million Instagram 300 Twitter goddamn followers. million, I'm bro. Cars, Look at that. Hey, we did the Cristiano and uh, LeBron car collection. With, but nothing compares to his $32 million masterpiece. He bought a plane? Hey, Neymar, you on the clock? <laughs> Neymar, you on the clock? Neymar got him a helicopter. Cristiano got him a plane. Now boarding Air Ronaldo. Listen, this Gulfstream G200 jet can go 560 miles. Oh, he got him a jet, not just a plane, a jet. Passengers. Ronaldo's plane even comes with Wi Fi, an oven, microwave, and speakers to bump music. I just hope this dude lets me get the aux. I got bangers. <laughs> now, if something costs me 30 bucks, I'd today. definitely flex a picture of it. Anybody would, but especially Ronaldo. And he was just casually minding his business, posting a selfie of him on the plane. But it was the worst possible time he could have posted it. See, what a tragedy it happened? Was January 21st, 2019. I don't know what happened today. January 21st, 2019. And at the time, another soccer player named oh, Emiliano okay. Sala was on a flight from France to Wales. But his plane flew over the English Channel and disappeared. And right after oh. the broke, this flight went missing. Ronaldo posted his selfie. Oh, Ronaldo. Oh, man, that is tough. Well, it didn't post this and mean any harm. The people on Twitter, his fans everywhere, even soccer legends, lost it. And were calling him out. All that's because of a tough. selfie that had nothing to do with the situation. It don't matter, bro. This, 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 like, he say, like they say, that's tone deaf right there, bro. You can't Ridiculous. do that. Read the room, But bro. listen. Even a $32 million jet can't touch Ronaldo's secret purchase. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell you about this one, but <laughs> I just here. gotta do it. See, Ronaldo's known to be one of soccer's greatest players ever. Not only because he pushes the limits of his body, but he pushes the limits of technology too. And Ronaldo's curiosity led him to purchasing something that was never worn by any other player. A performance-enhancing mouth guard. What? Lately, Ronaldo's been rocking a mouth guard that actually improves his balance oh. and increases his muscle power. This what? Piece, it aligns his jaw perfectly with his skull and chest. And apparently, it helps distribute all of his energy throughout his entire body. <laughs> what? Back in 2010, 
That's when Ronaldo started rocking his $130 pinks. And ever since then, this game's been on another level. Just look at this. You cannot argue with the fact that this might be giving him superpowers. Now, it cost him $130. And I know what you're thinking. Like, that's not a yeah, super not, really expensive yeah, purchase. Yeah, that's not a lot. But listen. Ronaldo's the most famous athlete in the entire world, and some of Steph Curry's mouth guards sold for five, seven, and twenty-five thousand. I remember, Steph. I remember was one time Steph got mad and threw his mouthpiece at the crowd on accident. So just imagine what a performance-enhancing piece would go for if it was game worn by CR7. I already you know one of y'all would probably pay a million dollars. Yeah, you know y'all boys. But huh? y'all boys, speaking yeah. of millions of dollars. Some soccer players have been cashing out. I'm talking they've been buying $10 million mansions that they can land a helicopter on. And one player, he even copped a 700-foot-tall penthouse that cost him 28 Damn, that's, t- hey, oh, that's tough, though. That's tough, though. more about that? That's tough, Click though. this video right here. These are the most expensive houses of soccer players. And, uh... Things get a little crazier. Hey, man, that's the end of the video, though. But, God damn, that map, that's low-key kind of clickbait. Because I think on the thumbnail, it had, like, $200,000, $20,000 for his mouthpiece. It only cost $130. But, hey, bro, like I say, if I was rich, I would be making outlandish-ass purchases like these, bro. Because, like, what else would I spend my money on? What would my money be doing just sitting here just wasting this time? So, why not spend it? You know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe, comment, over here. Until next time, out.